All right, guys, we're going to calculate uh, torque of a hydraulic motor. Uh, let's say you have a hydraulic pump. The pump is delivering 10 GPM, 1000 RPM, and 2000 PSI. And so we need to know what force, what torque is this motor going to be delivering uh, for, for what we have in here. So the formula is, is uh, 2000 PSI. We have the PSI down here, so we say 2000 PSI times uh, the di displacement of the motor, cubic inches, at so 1.5. So 1.5, and we're going to divide it by 6.28. That's what we're going to do. And that is going to give us the, the torque in each pound. Uh, so we said uh, 2000 times 1.5 equals divided by 6.28 and I give us a result of 477.70706 we're going to make it 01 and this is going to be inch pounds so if we need to increase the the torque of this motor for whatever reason you we need more torque uh, one way to do it is increasing the PSI if you increase the PSI uh, the pressure applied in the same displacement is going to give you a higher torque now if you cannot increase pressure then you need to go to a higher displacement motor and make it a one go from 1.5 to a 2 to 2.5 or, or whatever it is you know the 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 idea is that you increase the displacement now you apply the same pressure to a bigger displacement you're gonna get a higher torque on the motor now something to watch though however is uh, if you increase the displacement and you have the same GPM going through it, you have the same GPM to a higher, a bigger motor, then the RPM of the motor itself is going to go lower. So that, that's some of the um, what, uh, decisions, decisions, you know, that, that you have to make an engineering, uh, what motor you're going to go, what pump you're going to pick, what the flow is going to be and etc no uh, but uh, either way uh, this uh, this is uh, regarding just the torque the force of the motor uh, is a, a relation of the displacement and a relation to the psi so anyway that's the video for today we'll see you next time bye bye